a moment of silence, please. Because Savivi is dead to me. What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School of Fish and class is in session. I'm sorry that I have to do this today. In just a few short years, Savivi has gone from the Elementum, a Hall of Fame worthy knife, the Praxis, what to me is still the best budget knife of all time. The Mini Praxis, arguably the greatest value that there is in pocket knives. The Cubit, a fantastic button lock knife to full on freaking gas station mode. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a gas station knife. I love them because they're hideous. They have terrible action. They are what they are, but they cost $7, not $100. Who the hell would pay $100 for a gas station knife, man? They have gone completely gas station mode, releasing knives like the Biophase. Freaking horrific monstrosity of a gimmick. This folding push dagger called the Tweefius or something. The typhoid fever, that monstrosity, or this carabiner freaking can opener skeletonized knife called the Pragma. And now we have this freaking Frankenstein of a knife, the Star Force, Star Finger, Star Fire, Star Flare, whatever, Star Man, Starlight, Star Mint, this thing, this. This is what Civivi has done. They have gone from this to this. I cannot help but think that Civivi is just trolling us now. They're just absolutely trolling us. And no offense, if you own this star flare, well, actually, yes, yes, you should be offended. You sh Here's what I want you to do. If you own this monstrosity of a knife, you should go right now to your nearest liquor store and buy two bottles of the cheapest tequila there is. Then you should go to your garage, find the biggest hammer that you own, and smash this knife to bits. Don't throw it in a culvert somewhere because somebody might accidentally find it. And nobody should ever have to look at this knife. Don't throw it in the ocean because some squid will try to procreate with it because this looks like a freaking squid with the little squid eyeball here. And even the lowly squid does not deserve that fate. So what I want you to do is take the biggest hammer you own, smash this thing to bits, and then bury it in six different locations where no one, no one can ever find it again. Then take those two bottles of cheap tequila that you bought, drink them both as fast as you can, chug them, and then chase them with as much milk as you can drink and spend the next four hours puking until there is nothing left in your body. And then the next four days, when your head feels like somebody ran over it with a freaking truck, when you cannot move, when you feel as close to death as you have ever felt in your life, don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't let anybody else feel sorry for you. You need to reflect and understand that it's exactly what you deserve for buying this knife. I hate this knife. I hate everything about this knife. This, this freaking Damascus looks like some kind of film on the top of some greasy pan that's been soaking in the kitchen sink for about a week. It looks like some pond scum on the top of a holding pond. It is horrible. And and what is this on these handles? What are those little pew 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 pew? 
What is, what is that? Pew, pew. They, they look like freaking sperm cells. Now you're giving us sperm cells. And, and this, this freaking tumor, this cyst, this growth around the button lock that makes it impossible to get to. Did anybody think about that? That when you put this tumor around the button lock that it might be difficult to get to the button lock? Of course not. Nobody thought about that because you're trolling us. What is this? This freaking shroud, this tumor, this growth, this cyst, this freaking pivot wart here. Just horrible. You have got to be kidding me, Savivi. Really? This is how far Savivi has fallen. They don't even care. Not to mention that the ergonomics on this are horrible with that skinny little ass end on there. It's just, and we've got this finger choil. And look, I love a finger choil. I love a nice big finger choil. But what the hell is this? What is the, is it a sharpening? It's not big enough to be a finger choil unless you've got some little freaking Tinkerbell fairy fingers right? No actual human being can use that as a finger choil. And even when you do, you've got this freaking tumor in the way that makes it uncomfortable. So it's not a finger choil. Okay. So it's a sharpening choil. Why is it so huge? Sharpening choils only need to be like a 16th of an inch. What in God's earth is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's just some more useless garbage. Listen, if you like this knife, and if you own this knife, I'm sorry, but this absolutely screams. I have never used a knife to even open a package, but I got one. I got one. Look at it. Look how cool it looks. This is not cool. This is hideous. When you buy crap like this, that tells knife manufacturers to continue making crap like this. This is the most gaudy and garish, hideous thing I've ever seen. Somebody that would carry this knife would pair it with a watch that looks like this. Somebody that would buy and carry this knife is the same type of dude that would wear a cheap silk shirt from the 80s with a fake gold rope chain and the buttons, three buttons unbuttoned. That's who would carry this knife. That's who would carry this knife. If you bought it, dude, stop, stop. Stop spending $100 on gas station crap when you can get the same gas station crap for seven bucks. Three bucks. Three, I've seen gas station knives for $2.99. And don't tell me. Blade steel, British Command materials, and quality craftsmanship. Horse shit. Horse shit. Stop it. Stop it. Please stop. Savivi, you are dead to me. Y'all are freaking dead, man. I mean, it just... Ugh. It, it's not even a fantasy knife. It, it's like it wants to be a gas station knife. It wants to be a fantasy knife. And I can appreciate both of those for what they are. But it's pretending. And it's at the price point of an actual knife. Stop. Stop. If you want to make fantasy knives, make fantasy knives and sell them for $16.99. If you want to make gas station knives, make gas station knives and sell them for $6.99. But stop with this crap and the biophase and the pragma and the typhoid fever and all the other absolute garbage that you're doing. Savivi, stop it. I implore you, please go back to this. Savivi used to be, in my mind, the undisputed king of budget knives and nobody could touch their crown. That is no longer true. Savivi is a distant fifth or sixth or they're not even in the conversation anymore.
just with crap like this. I just can't. I can't. Yeah. Ugliest crap I've ever seen in my life. What is happening? What is this upside down freaking world that we live in? I, I don't, I, I have no words. I have no words. I, I mean, it's like, what, what's next, Savivi? You gonna, you gonna put rhinestones on the blade? Are we gonna get a bedazzled knife? I mean, we've got sperm cells. You might as well give us a bedazzled knife. Please, please give us a bedazzled knife. This, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. This is not my knife. This is a pass around knife. And I don't even want this in my house. I am going to ship it out immediately to whoever's next and get this absolute monstrosity out of my house. Yeah. No. Nobody should ever even have to look at this knife and I want it out of my house as quickly as I can get this out of my house. Savivi, you are dead to me. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Please, please don't say that you like this knife. Just don't. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish. Boys and girls, class dismissed.